Hi, Vincent Gerrer. This is Jamie Gill from the NAMM Show 2018 Boutique Guitar Showcase. I uh, want to show you a couple of new things that are happening this year. Uh, right behind us is Enrico Donato's uh, installation piece called Revenge is a Dish Best Served Cold. Quentin Tarantino inspired, incredible guitars, fantastic artwork. The guitar has really transitioned uh, beyond the tool and become an icon of contemporary culture. And this is one of the things we're trying to show here is how the guitar means so much more than just a simple tool for making music these days. There are four installations here uh, this year. Why don't you come on in and I'll show you a few things around the show. So behind me here you'll see work from Doug Cower, fantastic Americana style, vintage, great bold colors this year. Doug's got a new, new bass he's introduced, an ukulele, a short scale Titan, lots of fan stuff, fantastic things happening here. Buendia guitars, Leonardo Buendia is one of the protégés of the great Urban Samaji who literally wrote the book on making the guitar. A fantastic, incredible sort of craftsmanship, sound, love what he's doing. Your eyes are not deceiving you, those frets are curved. Oni guitars from Australia, incredible craftsmanship, great uh, modern sort of adaptation to uh, ideas, clean lines. I love the way he runs right off the headstock with his logo here, how we're working small adaptation of evolution with the frets. A customer who is saying the multi-scale instrument is perfect for what he does, but there's certain points where he can't quite make the uh, the chords, and so the curving of the frets was an adaptation for a customer's response, and he masterfully executed it. Beautiful work. And we have Megan Wells here. We've had a few more arch tops this year in the Boutique Guitar Showcase. Megan's an incredible uh, guitar maker from Northern California who has Beautiful traditional style arch tops with modern clean lines and an incredible smile. Here we have work from Michael Sankey from Ottawa, Canada. Michael has a great way of being extremely organic and natural what he does. He's literally picking up the guitars and holding them against himself as he turns that wonderful piece of tree and conforms it to the human body while experimenting with new ideas and concepts. Beside him from Germany, we have Rainer Tausch. Uh, Rainer has done an incredible job of taking a classic, comfortable designs and making his own interpretation of them, like a great cover song, like Joe Cocker doing A Little Help From My Friends, or Johnny Cash doing Nine Inch Nails Hurt. Rainer takes uh, guitars and makes an interpretation of them. With a 665, we have chambered pear wood, flamenco scale length, Hal Farrow block in the back, incredible playing machines and beautiful stylings. We have Ivy guitars. Ivy guitars are coming to us all the way from Indonesia. Yeah. When you first see these guitars, they're stunningly beautiful. You might think that we have CNC work going on here or laser etching. These are all individually hand etched by the master artist himself, Ethan. We have Ergon guitars, Adriano Sergio from uh, Portugal. This is something we haven't quite seen before. Extremely organic, very acoustic and open. Um, Adriano was a guitar tech for years for, honestly, the artists you wouldn't expect when you see this. He's toured with Ozzy and Dio and Anthrax and Slayer and makes these incredibly great playing guitars. He's, he's had to work for the masters who demand the best and he creates incredibly playing guitars. I'm having a hard time describing it because frankly you need to experience them. Try and get your hands on one of the guitars if you have if they have possibility. Vintage and rare, I know you love rare and vintage style guitars. The Frank Brothers from Toronto, Canada have done an incredible job of interpreting those sort of mid-modern designs from the 50s and 60s which were never done to the best of quality and they've taken a boutique level and masterful work and applied it to this era of guitars that we all love. Frank Hartung guitars from Germany. Frank has a really great sense of line and craftsmanship. Beautiful woods, modern interpretations, and always, always executed to the highest levels. So here we have Michael Spoke guitars from Vienna, Austria. Michael, of course, is well known for his assemblage art in resin, a new way of approaching the guitar. 
bone top thickets, beautiful pieces. Michael's made a couple of installation pieces here because he's an incredible artist. We're taking the guitar uh, outside of the frame of the guitar body itself. I would love to show you that just out here. So this is Michael Spalt's uh, Matador piece. Michael and I have been talking for a lot of years about moving outside of the lower bout of the guitar and being able to expand and create art beyond that, which still involves a love of guitar with his visual art ideas. This incredible installation piece here pulls from his inspiration from Picasso. A lot of people don't realize that Picasso had a real infatuation with the guitar and made hundreds of guitar sculptures at one point in time in his life. And so Michael's pulled upon this, worked with the guitar, it has a piece that you can be in your home. This sold to an art collector yesterday, um, going to Northern California. Lucky person, it's fantastic. Gallup Guitars and his installation be Sound and Science. One of the things I love about what Brian is doing is he's using modern technology to achieve things that frankly we can't do as humans. He involves CNC, he involves the computer, and he's actually working with the computer to categorize wood and its, and its properties, puts them into the system, and recognizes your entire wood library so he can create a particular sound and knows to use back and side number 37 with top number 48 and thin to this level to achieve exactly the sound he's looking for. Really, it's an incredible way of using science to be able to create uh, the ultimate guitar. And this is what's happening here with this piece. We have G&G guitars, Julian Negrini guitars from Switzerland. Uh, incredible, master-crafted, uh, uh, modern metal fusion pieces. Julio has done a lot of incredible inlay work for this particular show. Of course, he's always been a master of color. Look at those bursts, look at the wood, look at the, the blood on this piece here. The picture, the picture. Behind him here, we have Lame Horse Guitars from Austin, Texas. Uh, Lame Horse is, uh, you know, it's, it's funny, you wonder where the name comes from, but Chris Jenkins here and his, and his son, uh, he was actually a veterinarian for many years and it's merged sort of his, retired as a veterinarian, went into building more guitars, puts the two together. They always put a little, a little stone animal inside of each guitar here. Incredibly well done. The inside of these guitars is as impressive as the outside. Fully finished, often inlaid with special stones and things. Um, check them out at lamehorseguitars.com. Right behind him, Pete Malinowski. Pete is always pushing the limits as to what we will accept as a guitar. Trying new things. Uh, look at what he's done here. We have Hyde on here. I saw some of the construction pictures of this guitar that he had posted online with metal bars underneath it here to achieve the, uh, the shape of it and such. I don't remember exactly what the interpretation is here, but I think you should take a picture and look it up online. You'll find yourself entertained. For here we have Noah guitars from Italy. All aluminum bodies carved on the inside. These are the warmest metal body guitars I've ever played. Fantastically inspiring. Wonderful pieces. Behind us here, we have Stephen McSwain of McSwain Guitars. His classic red, white, and bullets. And he's featuring here Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Um, always working within the art side of things and rock and roll. Stephen has made guitars for Slash and Vernon Reed and all sorts of incredible artists over time. You know, if the guitar has been shaped by rock and roll, in Stephen McSwain's case, rock and roll has shaped it back. It's, it's as if Bill Haley shouted into the cannon and Bon Scott screamed back at you. And that's Stephen McSwain's guitars. Thank you, Vincent Dwyer, from the 2018 Damn Show Petit Guitar Showcase.